I may be onto something big here. What are the two best movies ever made? Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre. Napoleon Dynamite is a strange comedy about an awkward young man and his antics in high school with his friends Pedro and Deb. Nacho Libre is a Jack Black movie where Mr. Black is an orphan in Mexico who just wants to pursue his dreams of wrestling, but is held back from doing so by his church. What if, though? What if these two were connected? I've done some digging and come to the conclusion that this movie is in the same universe as this movie. In this video, I will go over how this is possible and what might be the connections between the two classic tales. Now, the first major flaw in this theory is that these movies are created by different companies, one being made by Nickelodeon and the other by MTV or something, maybe Fox? I don't know how this stuff works. But that doesn't really matter. I believe each character has a connection to a character in the opposite movie. Be this a reincarnation or a family relation, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go over each connection and character respectively and try and figure out what's going on here. This is probably the furthest stretch as far as characters connecting goes, but seeing as how they're the main characters, I figured I'd start with them. As personalities go, these two are very far apart. Napoleon is awkward and slender, not really having much of a goal throughout the movie, and Ignacio is Jack Black. However, the parents of neither characters show up in either movie, Nacho being an orphan, and Napoleon, I don't know what happened to his. I found a Reddit theory, which are always the best, theorizing they died before you got to know them, stating some of the ways they could have died. I'll leave a link in the description if this piques your interest, you disgusting freak. The guy who slapped Nacho bears an uncanny resemblance to Kip Easy. If you're wondering why I'm not calling him by his name, it's because I have no clue what it is. I don't know what it is. It's not said in the movie, and I don't know who he'd be in the credits. I tried looking it up. I, I, who, who is it? Anyway, the physical similarities are quite obvious. The hair, the mustache, and the gloriously chiseled jawline are all shared qualities. They also have similar personality quirks that seem to mirror one another. Overall, they just seem to have the same energy. <laughs> Uncle Rico, the absolute unit, is a kind of strange character in the Dynamite universe and family. He comes in sort of late to the movie as a sort of obstacle for Napoleon, belittling him, hitting him in the head with stakes, and overall not being the best uncle. But it feels like there's more behind the man than we are shown. Something they aren't telling us. He clearly had a relationship with a woman at one point, mentioned a couple of times throughout the movie. She even comes back near the end which is never really explained. You never see her anywhere else. Who is she? He seems to be a broken man on the inside. I see a lot of parallels between him and Squillian, but that's for another day. He always mentions how he could have done better in football. He wishes the coach put him in in the fourth quarter. They would have taken state. He would have been soaking it up with his soulmate in a hot tub. It reminds me of what Ramsey's might be like after being humiliated by Jack Black. This man spent years training to be the best to be unbeatable, to be number one, and in the end he was bested by a man with nothing more than eagle powers. That could drive him to a pretty dark place. He'd likely move away, out somewhere where he could forget everything that happened back in Mexico. Maybe start a new life, marry and have a kid. Who knows? I think it's possible that Uncle Rico could even be Ramses. He might just look good for his age. Or have been pretty young and just really buff in. He could just be, you know, he just, he could just look good for his age or, I, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, there isn't much of a similarity between these two. I just wanted to have a fourth connection. There are some odd moments here and there that seem to be coincidentally similar to one another, like rhyming in cinema. Nacho tackles Escalito in a similar way to Uncle Rico. Kip slaps Napoleon the same way this guy slaps Nacho. There's there's multiple. I'd encourage you to look for them for yourself. These movies are good. Overall, I think there's two possibilities here. 
I believe that either the main characters of Napoleon Dynamite are descendants or are related to the characters of Nacho Libre, or these characters are somehow a reincarnation or retelling of sorts of their counterparts. As far as them being related goes, there are several reasons behind this. In the beginning of the movie, you can see a color television, which would put the movie in the 1970s, or at least that's what Google said. And Napoleon takes place in the early 2000s. This would also mean that Nacho and Ramses are related in some way, which is interesting. Anyways, that's about all I've got. Bye. Get off me! Ah!